Hey guys, this is Vibhav and you're watching Webstack. Despite the COVID-19 pandemic, Apple's worldwide developer conference still took place, but it was completely online. There was no live audience, but frankly, it was better this way. I really did enjoy Apple's format this year. The creative camera angles and the seamless transitions were amazing. Now when it comes to the software experience, it's pretty clear that the coronavirus has left its mark apart from many of new ways to customize emoji, including new hairstyles, occupation to choose from, and age options. You can also wear a mask. The Apple Watch also gets many new features including hand washing detection mode. Basically sensors on your watch can tell that you are in a process of washing hands. It will then turn the mic on to listen to the sound of flowing water and then the Apple Watch kicking to start 20 second time to tell you that you should stop or keep going for 20 seconds. Of course, there's one takeaway from all of this is that you should wash your hands and always wear a mask when you're going out. Let's talk about the new UI that is called Compact UI. Compact UI is another big update. Instead of taking up your whole screen when you get a call or using the search function or talking to Siri. For all of this, it will appear just a floating box like Android do for all of its phone and finally this is on iOS so you don't lose context of whatever you are doing on your phone. Another great feature is picture in picture mode. You have already seen this in other Android phones where if you are watching a video or you switch to another app, the video will list all over as a little box on top of the app you are currently using. And if you want to keep it aside, you can minimize it and the audio will keep playing. And when you are done, you can just close the video. iOS getting some Android features, but I would say they are doing it better. One of the features, widgets on home screen. Previously, widgets would be on separate pane and you have to swipe to get there but now you can drag them to home screen and they can live side by side with your regular apps there's also a new widget called smart stack that will automatically show the relevant widget based on the time of the day some of you may argue that these widgets are available on Android for a long time but uh, to be honest, I don't use Android widgets except maybe the clock widget on the home screen. Apple has never provided the app drawer and that was fine until you start downloading tons of apps and your home screen begins to look like this. Apple recognizes this and they have included a new feature called App Library. First you can hide the extra pages you lost track of and it automatically arranges the apps based on the category or you can also sort the apps alphabetically. Now when it comes to Siri, now Siri got even smarter with shorter animations so it won't take up your entire screen. Just like Google Assistant, Siri can now help you with find answers to a broader set of questions on the internet. You can now send audio messages. Translations is also a big highlight on iOS 14 update. It can now translate between over 65 languages and supports a new translation app called Translate inline replies and mention for messages. Messages now get inline reply so that you can reply to a specific message in a conversation. There's also a new mention feature which lets you call out a name in a group or to mention someone in a chat as the name suggests. It works like WhatsApp in iMessages. Privacy and security. One of the biggest issue when it comes to using apps and services on the internet is how much of your data is actually safe and how much data is being collected and passed to other parties. Here Apple has taken the charge and made sure that your privacy is at most priority. Last year they announced sign in with Apple which masks your own personal email address when you sign up for a new service. This year they are adding even more transparency about what data is required by an app from a user. The feature I like the most is the orange dot notification which will show whenever an app using your microphone or camera. That way you can tell if the app is secretly listening or watching in the background. So these were some key highlights in WWDC on iOS 14. Please like this video, also subscribe to Webstack and I will see you in my next video. Till then, bye bye.